Hey homies, welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing? What's been going on? Um, I know I'm like literally a whole week late to this at this point, but I wanted to do like a little tribute to the women in my life for International Women's Day. Um, because every day they support me and I just, I love them. I love them. Originally it was going to be like just my mum or just one of my friends in particular, but that didn't feel fair. So I've drawn inspiration from mum and this other friend um, and then sort of incorporated it in a way that represents all of the women in my life that support me because there really, really are so many and I love them all to pieces. So I wrote down a few words. I can't find my list. I wrote down a few words that I thought described my friends. So it was like brave, fierce, bold, strong, independent. Like they just... The amount of support they provide me with is insane and the way they encourage me to just always go for my goals, you know. So this look is a dedication to them and yes, I will be wearing it to uni today. So that's a little crazy, but that's fine. <laughs> um, so I haven't primed, oh fuck, I haven't primed my lids. We're just going to go in with a touch of concealer for primer today. I always seem to forget this step, every single time. Okay, there we go. We have primed our lids using a bit of concealer and a bit of the shade Basic Truth, just to sort of set it a little bit um, and help all the other colours we're going to use blend a bit better. We are going to attempt to cut crease. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do this because I don't think I want to actually cut the crease. I think I just want to like clean the lid off. Like, sort of just, like, tidy it up with a Q-tip. But we'll see how we go when we get to that point. So, I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. I've got the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay palette right in front of me. And we're just going to go in with the shade Mikai, which is the Bright Ass Red. So, yeah. Um, I suppose the colour inspiration for this, too, is fire, mostly, for the most part because they make me feel strong and fierce and powerful and I don't know when I think of those words I think of fire it just that's just what seems right but it's also ironic because I am an Aries which are a fire sign and I was born in the year of the dragon so um fire breathing dragons I don't know that explains this tattoo so <laughs> she's cute and sassy and fierce and you know, she breathes fire and, you know, that sort of thing. I don't know. I thought it was cool. I have zero regrets with it. That was really freaking easy. Like, it's freaking me out how easy. I need another brush to blend that out with. We're just going to... I don't know. I just feel like that didn't diffuse out the way I wanted it to. It's a weird shape, too. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just going to do the same on the other side real quick. Okay, I've changed up the shape a little bit. This is very out there for me. Not at all in my comfort zone. But, um that's part of why I wanted to do something like this because the women in my life push me outside of my comfort zone nothing was ever achieved inside the comfort zone and I've kept that relative like you I've, mm, I've kept it relatively tidy when my eyes are open so we're just gonna go straight in with the next color which is gonna be redemption which is the orange I feel like that was pretty uh predictable considering I was talking about fire. You want to bring that slightly more than halfway. Sort of there. And if we blend them together just a little bit. I don't know, I'm literally making this up as I go along. I had some sort of vision in my head about this last night. But the way that I picture things happening the next day never works out, like, ever. So we're literally just going to hope that this works out the way we want it to. It's 
not as orange as I wanted it to be. I'm digging out the Morphe 35B. Uh, without making a mess. I'm actually going to go in with the shade Puffs. This one just here. And see if that makes a difference. Yeah. The orange in Nikki's palette is quite yellow toned. And I don't mind that. I'm not dissing on it. I just... I want a bright orange. Okay, so sort of something like that. I don't know, this isn't what I pictured in my head, but like it doesn't look awful. It's just thrown me off a bit. Why did I grab a fluffy brush out? I don't think I want a fluffy brush for that. Alright, I'm going in with a packing brush. It's a little larger than I wanted, but I've got no other brushes on my desk here with me. So we're just going to make do with what we've got. making a mess. Lovely. Just what I wanted. Sort of cool, sort of cool. I'm vibing it, I'm vibing it. Do they even look similar? I'm not convinced they do. They do down in front of the mirror. They look similar like in this reflection, but like in this reflection, I don't know. I think I'm just overthinking it. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, I know this is a fiery sort of look, but the women in my life make me calm as well. They know all the right ways to calm me down. They bring me peace in my decisions, in literally everything. So there's, I'm going to put a bit of green in there. I did want to go with blue, but I feel like the green sort of ties in with the yellow a bit more. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the shade Ill on this little brush. How cute is that? Oh my god, I love. And we're just going to put that on the lower lash line. When I was thinking about the colours that come to mind, pink is my mum's favourite colour. Or one of. It's become her favourite colour. Um, red is one of my other friend's favourite colours and then I sort of just went with like yellow because they are sunshine to me they bring me so much light, so much joy they always bring a smile to my face even when I don't feel like it um, and then yeah obviously the green I just explained is the piece and then orange sort of just goes in there because fiery colours but it's ironic to me because the two colours that I originally picked so red and yellow um, it wasn't because they were fiery, it was because they had other meanings. So it's really cool to me that, you know, it's it's fiery, but also the colours have their own independent meanings within this look for me. So, I don't know, I'm probably just babbling nonsense at this point, but that is fine. That's what we're good at. Um, I actually think we're done with the eyeshadow palettes, so I'm going to put some sparkles in it because... Sunshine, sparkles, light of my life. Um, looking at these, I actually think I want to go with Rose Glow. Um, I, don't know, I sort of like the, the, the finer glitters a little bit more. Am I literally just going to put that over the yellow? Oh, fuck yes. Just over the yellow. And then we're going to blend it out to the orange. Using a small fluffy brush because with my finger I tend to get it like up in my crease I don't want it in the red something like that um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop some mascara and some lashes on and I'll be right back Took a lot longer than I should have. Not that you guys are gonna know the difference when I edit this. Um, 
I tried to go with two other pairs of lashes just because they were like bigger and more dramatic, but typical LC ones from Cash Beauty, just they wanted to work, they always work for me. Um, I am, I have highlighted, I put a little bit of the yellow on my inner corner and a little bit in the brow bone, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the Nikki Tutorials palette and take a little bit of the shade Zoma, and I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to regret doing that, aren't I? Just with the brush that I would normally use my highlighter on, too. Just as a bit of blush, I sort of forget that eyeshadows and blushes don't make the same way, but that's fine. Just like rosy. Rosy was the other word I had written down on my little sheet of words, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like there was more I should have said to go with that, but there's not. Yeah, sort of something like that, which is weird because I haven't touched blush in the longest time. So very weird for me to have done that, in all honesty. Um, haven't decided what sort of look color to go with yet either. So. I'm thinking something sort of neutral. I don't want it to tone down the look, but I don't want it to be too out there. Take my Crystal Knights Collection lip set from Cash Beauty. This gorgeous, gorgeous thing. I would normally go in with the shade Soleil. So, I feel like that's a little orange for it today though. So maybe we go in with the shade. Oh, no, not Blood Moon. Blood Moon's the red, and I don't feel like a red lip today. Maybe. This is Dawn. As you can see, pretty much hasn't been used yet. Or there's Veil. No, Dawn's the way to go. So yeah, that's essentially how I decide what lip colour to go with pretty much every time I do my lipstick. I'm going to take my True Nude lip kit from Cash Beauty also, just because the lip set doesn't come with lip liners, and these do. So I'm going to take the True Nude lip liner and quickly line my lippies. Bam, ba -dam, bam. It's so weird for me to wear lipstick. It's just not something I do. Up until like last year. <laughs> Even on a night out, I'd rather go for a tinted, tinted lip balm because I know that I'm just gonna like, like pick up my lips on it. That's kind of cool. Sort of vibe that. Sort of vibe that. Don't hate it. It's darker than I would normally go. So this is like, this is very strange for me. So strange. <laughs> and there we have it. My makeup look inspired by all of the fierce, bold, strong, independent, inspirational women in my life. So uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry it's a whole week late, but... Women deserve celebrating so much more than they do get celebrated. So, here's to us, girls. Here's to us. I will uh, catch you guys in the next video and stay well, my dudes.